Well, I'm trying to learn how to use DesignCAD version 22 in 3D animation mode. And particularly, I'm trying to do a, an animation of a steam piston. And I wanted to actually animate what the steam was doing. I started out with an older version of DesignCAD version 17. And it was capable of doing animations, but it really couldn't do the steam effect that I wanted. Then I discovered I had purchased version 21. I could get it to do the color change animation I wanted to do, but couldn't get it to uh, save AVI files properly. So I just downloaded version 22, and it's making pretty good AVI files. I'm still a little rough on using the 3D features. I've been using DesignCAD since back in the 80s, but I've almost always done work in 2D. So I'm still a little rough on the 3D processes, but um, the 3D animation of the piston itself is fairly easy and is covered in the manual. Uh, but the steam volume, I wanted a transparent uh, steam volume inside the cylinder that changed size and changed color, going from red indicating hot to white indicating condensing steam is forming. Um, so those effects, it turns out, are possible in version 22. It takes a little bit of trickery to do it, but I managed to get a volume of steam expanding in the cylinder um, as the cylinder moves and changing color. So I'm starting out with the piston screen showing all three views and the um, three-dimensional view on a white background, which is how you'll normally work. Then I go to using the uh, screen layer tool, and in this case I have switched on the layer that I've got with some dimension scales and guidelines on it. I can turn that off. I can also turn off the cylinder itself, which uh, is just in the way of my animation moving the piston and the gas. So the next screen I've got the uh, piston cylinder 3D screen showing with the shading applied, which one only does when you're really finished and ready to put out an, uh, a finished product. I have the piston in the ZY dimension shaded showing and this is the animation screen that you work and for this animation screen I have got the animation loaded which is 70 frames and every five frames I'm setting a new new set of commands in so I can have nonlinear piston movement and color changes going on all along here and I have the info box opened up on the gas cylinder itself I have the piston showing on the left hand side in gold and then I have just to the left of the piston there's a thin disk of, of hot steam showing highlighted and the info box is showing that little disk of red hot steam that we're going to be manipulating in this animation. I have a whole series of animation frames showing that show that I'm changing the volume, the size of the volume of steam, and also am editing in the information box what the color is and what the z-axis scale is. And that's the real secret, is to use the z-axis scale to change the size. And in the final frame, once I was uh, done and ready to produce my animation, I switch back into normal mode and turn the background to green so that my green screen capabilities of the video editing program can make this thing float on front of, uh, in front of any background that I wish. 